All right, thanks for tuning back into our channel. This is David Wilkes, and we're at Phoenix Marine Solutions in Florence, South Carolina. Um, disregard my neighbor, he's cutting the grass, which is only taking months to do so. What we have here is a Kohler 5 EKD, and um, this is a fuel injected, self contained. I've got all of the soundproofing box off of it right now, and this is just to give you a little overview of why you run these before you put them in the boat and uh that's a 38 donzi 2008 model that we've uh done a repower with triple 350 verados all new ray marine uh dual screens um pretty much a complete refit uh this boat's going to hawaii and uh so we're putting a, a used new generator in it um and this is why you want to test these and i'll show you why uh so the way that these systems work is we've got um well water coming out of our our ground here yeah we need to edge and fix some stuff around the shop but that's what happens when you're busy um i got this hooked into a stainless pressure regulator this will mount on the back of the boat and it's got a, a pop out that you hook up to a garden hose um that's actually go, goes to your raw water and to your service water if you're docked we got a two inch id marine hose for exhaust and uh that's going to a Centex silencer this thing's amazing pick this up uh at marine connection down in fort pierce florida shout out to those guys if they don't have it you don't need it um i've got a little elbow on the top for a little extra water line protection since you can't buy a gas can anymore that doesn't have one of those safety valves um the mercury quicksilver uh, oil tanks make a great little gas bottle and um, they work very very well so that's hooked up to our fuel line um, come around here we've got a cranking battery I tried it with a deep cell cycle battery but this is an EFI unit and it has its own microprocessor so it doesn't really like not having a good cranking battery it's finicky like the Verados so the way that this hose these hoses work is it's self-regulated it's a closed cooling system um, water comes out here it's a sensor it gives you its pressure for your water um, this diverter valve here is an electronic switch um, this diverts the water up through these pipes here um, this design is this is going to regulate your water pressure now in some models this will literally go straight from here to here but depending on where you're mounting this in a boat whether it's going to be above or below the water line or even close to it since this mounts in the back of a, a boat that's typically made for outboards um, it's not the generator is not going to be below the water line but it's going to be close so the way that we're rigging this is we've got uh, anti-siphon pipe right here or hose and this will actually have a breather on the top when we have it installed in the boat so that you can vent it out if necessary but this keeps any water from coming up into your exhaust this is actually a catalytic converter because this is epa legal um, and then i've got this plugged into a shorty harness right now and it shows that this unit has 358.1 hours um, and we can start this will go actually on the dash of the boat so you can fire it up straight from the helm um, and that will make it very very simple we just got this little strap on it so we can lift it on this pallet um, this does have a full enclosure um, so it will be uber quiet it's got its own little bitty data panel here you can scroll through all the different windows and whatnot it's kind of difficult to see right now battery's got good voltage now and i'll go ahead and start you can hear it spool up and out comes the water That regulator will regulate the water pressure hit that little switch to get the exhaust and now you can see that it's actually pretty quiet coming out and then it just shut itself off for some reason so let's go take a look at what fault code it came up with <clears throat> coolant loss but let's check that out it probably had an air bubble so what we'll do 
is will confirm to clear the code by turning the wheel. Yes. We cleared it. Notice the water started back up again. We'll go to start. That's how sensitive these are. They had probably had an air bubble. We'll start it back up. We'll let it run for a bit and see if that's what it was. Oh, but I think I see what our culprit is. It looks like it's got a small hairline crack right there. Now that's a water pump. It takes the seawater and then distributes that up to the heat exchanger in the top. As you can see right here, that's your heat exchanger. Now again, that's a closed cooling system. So what we probably have in that pump assembly is a crack, who knows why. That's a hall painted, so that's a, that was installed from the factory like that. Um, so now we'll investigate. But this is why you always want to run these before you drop them in the boat. Because you can imagine, if I have to get to that while it's installed in the hull, it's going to be really difficult. So we're going to check it all out and upload another video when we get it done.